So what is the best opt-in plugin for WordPress? Which opt-in plugin should you be using? In this video, I'm going to review Optin Monster from the perspective of a funnel builder. You can find a link to Optin Monster below. Full disclosure, it is an affiliate link. However, I've been using Optin Monster for years and there is a reason that I use it for my own business and I use it for my customers. I'll be looking at the price as well as some of its features and my favorite benefits of using Optin Monster if you are looking for an opt-in plugin and platform that's easy to use, generates great conversions, and allows you to set up an opt-in or an email list growth part of your business, Optin Monster might be the best product for you. So there are a lot of list growth platforms out there. Some of them are way bigger, such as Lead Pages or Unbounce, and some of them are much smaller, like Optin Monster or Icegram. And the ability to grow a list is integral, not only to your business, but to your customers' businesses as well. The difficult part comes when you want to start growing your customers' email lists, and you think, what's the best possible platform to use if I wanna grow an email list for my customers, if I want to start adding opt-in forms to my customers' blog posts, and if I wanna start adding opt-in forms across the site and across multiple sites, I want to make sure that I've got a scalable option that allows me to install multiple opt-ins across multiple websites. You also want to make sure that you have an opt-in service that integrates with multiple different providers and different CRM systems like ActiveCampaign and MailChimp and Infusionsoft without making it overly complicated. And that's where Optin Monster comes in. I think there's a huge misconception that pop-ups don't work and the reality is, yeah, too many pop-ups doesn't work. If you have five or six pop-ups and opt-ins on one page, chances are that's not going to convert. But the reality is I have found massive success in converting traffic into email subscribers using only one or two opt-ins at a time, and Optin Monster has been behind that whole process. It's also really important to make sure that you have an opt-in that looks good in order to convert well, doesn't take ages to make the page load, and that's what we're going to talk about today is with Optin Monster. So I think the biggest feature that Optin Monster is pushing at the moment is their drag and drop builder, which I absolutely love. It used to be that you used to have to select templates. Now, in fairness, I think the templates looked great and there was a huge amount of customization to the templates, but I can understand why they now offer a drag and drop builder. Essentially using blocks, you are able to add in forms, buttons, images, text, it's kind of like a page builder. In fact, I think they might have taken a few cues from some of the great page builders like Elementor and Beaver Builder out there and made it extremely easy to create great looking, high converting opt-in forms. There's also a variety of different types of opt-in forms available, which to me was one of the biggest benefits. I personally prefer the post content opt-ins, which means that there is an opt-in at the end of my blog posts or maybe in the middle of the blog post. It's quite subtle and I'll direct people and readers to that kind of as a call to action. But you can also do welcome mats, which are your full screen opt-ins. You can have the pop-ups, you can have exit intent pop-ups, you can have yes, no pop-ups. There's loads of different types and now you can drag and drop and create designs that work for you. And of course, the best part of that is being able to create your own templates so that you're able to quickly copy those across multiple sites. The second thing that I absolutely love about Optin Monster is being able to build my list on automation. There are a variety of features which Optin Monster offers, which means that you're able to convert traffic into subscribers completely on automation. I now know that 5% of all of my traffic probably are gonna convert into subscribers because of the way that Optin Monster is set up. For example, any blog posts with a specific category, Optin Monster will load specific opt-ins depending on which category or type of blog post someone is reading. Or I can do it by keyword in the URL. For example, if I'm talking about SEO and the word SEO is in my URL, for example, I've written a blog post on like the top 12 SEO tools for 2019, Optin Monster will display my SEO opt-in form only on those pages or posts. I also have blanket opt-ins which go across the whole site. Maybe they're promoting a webinar or maybe they're promoting a product. There's timer options as well 
well. The reality is I can now use this to build lists on autopilot. And the way that we're able to use this with customers is I'm now able to offer as a service the ability to convert traffic into subscribers completely on autopilot for a monthly fee. Optin Monster is a monthly service. It's kind of like a SaaS. It starts at $19 per month and goes up to $99 per month. Although they often have deals and promotions on which allow you to get them at sometimes half price. Depending on which one you want, you could start selling that service to your customers. The ability to say to your customers, I'm gonna help convert all of your website traffic into leads and subscribers is a fantastic way to start generating recurring income. Point number three is that Optin Monster connects to everything. So first of all, it connects to Google Analytics really, really well, which means that the analytics and the feedback that I get inside the Optin Monster dashboard means that I'm able to see which blog posts and pages are converting best, as well as which opt-ins are converting best and the conversion rate compared to my other opt-in forms. Wait for this guy in his fucking loud car to drive past. It also connects to pretty much every CRM and automation system on the planet. The thing I love about this more than anything is that if you've got, say, three or four customers and one of them uses MailChimp, one of them uses ActiveCampaign, one of them uses Infusionsoft, you're able to connect to each one of those integrations from the dashboard without having to add new credentials every single time. They're just there as a drop down. You're able to add all the bells and whistles like tags and lists and separate automations. In terms of integrations, it connects with absolutely everything. On the other side, it works with almost all themes. In fact, I haven't come across a theme that it doesn't work with. You don't even have to be using WordPress to use Optin Monster. In, in fact, two of our customers don't use WordPress. They use another CMS platform and we've installed with Optin Monster really easily using the embed codes, still allowing a level of customization to where it's displayed, when it's displayed, and what happens after someone opts in. Number four, and this was maybe the reason I bought it in the first place, is that Optin Monster is super, super simple to set up. Within minutes, you could have an opt-in form across your entire website offering a lead magnet and getting anyone on your website to convert. For the sake of five minutes of work and $19 for your first month, to have anyone opt-in and added to your email list, I think is massively worth it. Creating opt-ins is easy, displaying opt-ins is easy, managing opt-ins is easy, looking at the analytics and the conversion rates is also incredibly simple. Perhaps the most important point is as you start to scale your business and if you're getting other people to use your software, your virtual assistants or your staff can start using Optin Monster to deliver those products and services to your customers. And point number five is the analytics and customization. I've talked a little bit about the customization, but you really have to understand just how much you can customize each opt-in. The drag and drop builder allows you to build opt-ins completely how you want them to look. We even have them embedded on certain pages in the opt-in form area instead of gravity forms or the page builders version of a subscription form. In my opinion, the ability to customize when an opt-in appears, where it appears and how it looks is vital and for the money that Optin Monster is charging, it's crazy affordable, especially if you're offering this as a service to your customers. I think the growth level, which is something like $99 a month, allows up to 10 sites to be installed. And if you just charged your customers $99 a month for five or six opt-ins across their site with categories and tagging and link integrations and updates and all of that, you'd be comfortably making money with quite a big margin. There's also, of course, the ones like Exit Intent and Welcome Mats being able to add multiple different opt-ins across the site and whether you want them just on blog posts or on pages or across the entire site is massively worth the price. There's a link to Optin Monster below. Like I said, it is an affiliate link. The $19 a month basic plan or the $39 a month plus plan is absolutely what most people are going to use. If you are going to use this as an agency and using it with your customers, I recommend the growth plan, which starts at $99. But for everything that you get, it's well worth the money and you can always upgrade as well. Something that's worth mentioning really quickly is they have just released a university, which you do have to pay for the courses, but they do have lots of courses and educational material on growing your list, creating lead magnets, and basically building a business. It's also worth noting that they've got a Facebook group, which I absolutely love. There's loads of great content in there and their support is second to none. The documentation will take you through absolutely everything. And like I mentioned, it integrates with absolutely everything. If there's one thing I'd change, I think the organization of the opt-ins within kind of folders is a bit 
clunky. It's not particularly intuitive to see where an opt-in is placed or which particular opt-ins I want to go after. But apart from that, everything else is super simple and very slick and it's probably something they're going to fix in the future. Something I absolutely love is probably the analytics side. It's just really quick and easy to see what's converting, what isn't converting and where it's converting. But I also love the ability to customize where and when my opt-ins appear depending on the content or the URL or the categories inside my WordPress post. It does have a plugin which allows you to manage all of your opt-ins from within the WordPress dashboard, which again, I absolutely love. And yeah, if you wanna get started converting traffic into email subscribers and email leads today for the sake of $19, you absolutely should buy Opt-in Monster. I've been using it for years. I would not be recommending it or reviewing it if it wasn't a product that I highly believed in. I absolutely love the guys at Opt-in Monster. They're constantly creating great content. Their blog is outstanding. It's super simple, integrates with absolutely everything. And there's a link to it below. Thanks very much for watching guys. I'm Mike from Sell Your Service. I'll see you on another video. Keep building those funnels.